is a fossil marine mammal, um, piece of a marine mammal skull. Uh, someone who specializes in marine mammals would be able to determine that. It's totally covered in uh, ferromanganese, so it's very doubtful we'd be able to date anything useful there, but we could at least get a species ID, potentially. Uh, back row, sorry. We're gonna get off the subject too. Um, subsequent proposal is the ISE Magnum. It has a lockjaw on it. We could put the, the, the fossil in there and bring it up and see if it stays. Yeah. So on the other arm? Yeah, other arm. Yeah, I mean, if it doesn't block anything and it's sturdy in there. Oh, it'll be sturdy. Okay, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, can I look at it? Can you look at it? The Magnum? Yeah. I was just gonna pick it up with this guy, but I understand that it's easier to place it into its jaw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sex stand and then we'll just look out that way when we're flying. Okay. I want you to grip it. I think I want you to go mid. People tuning in uh, in the chat actually were suggesting to use the, the left claw to uh, hold the fossil. I say we, we have some dedicated fans there, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so would this be classi classified as a grab? <laughs> in the purest sense. You might roll my wrist. <laughs> You're good there. Actually. Okay. Just a little bit towards you, or no? No, you, yeah, you've got it. Oh, that's like that wrist twitch right there. Okay, okay ready? Go ahead. Jaw close. All right. Okay, I'm like holding it. So, will it stay closed if I let go of the jaw? Okay, you promise? Promise. Okay, I'm letting go. Okay. <laughs> I locked the jaw, also. <laughs> Roger. Okay, so let's figure out how we want to stow this now. Let's okay. Put our toys away. A lot of the times, the sites that we're visiting have never been visited before, never been explored before, so a lot of the animals down there might be new or unusual to scientists. Um, so one way that we can better understand these animals is to first observe them, but also sometimes we need a collection of them because oftentimes there are many characteristics about these animals uh, or anything we might find on the seafloor that would be uh, impossible to tell from the really great ROV video cameras we have. So uh, sometimes getting a, a, a physical sample that we can either examine on the ship or that we can examine uh, back in our respective labs through, through our various uh, partnering repositories would be really uh, useful and helpful for specialists to actually either assign a species identification in the case of a, a biological collection, or uh, you know do some additional workup, which might include things like micro, uh, microscope work or microscopy, or uh, you know extracting DNA that might be useful to uh, barcode the sample and, and compare it against other uh, genetic code from other uh, like animals. So these are some of the things that we use, uh, some of the methods we use to, to better uh, follow up with these collections afterwards. Those are nice. Little mohawk claws on yeah. the palm. I'll throw it in a row. Oh, they're very pretty. Okay, go ahead and zoom. Zoom it in. Let's actually take a look at what we got here. Uh, go ahead and push on in. I just want to see what way you can grab easy. Let's get there. And I'll look a little bit to the left there. Let's see, do we want to go for these guys here? Hmm. Trying to only get one. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And a jar as well. And a jar, you bet. On that, let me know if you're concerned with that. Want to zoom there, Dan? Yep. So this this looks very similar to a sea cucumber called Benthotheria. 75 coming up. 75 percent. There you go. It's going to be fairly rigid. Uh, it's quite rigid. If yeah. this one doesn't go, we'll put it in the forward box. Right here. Forward box. Um, maybe lambda. Am I trying to make a run for it? Like you want to put that out? 
Open the forward box. Yeah. Forward box going out. Oh, I'm gonna hit you there. It's all right. Bad. It's me, me backing up. All right, we'll take it. Out. All right, it's fully out. Argus Tep's getting down to ten meters. Yeah, Raj, I'll come up here. Okay, can kill the suction. Okay. Suction off. Is that enough there? I can see if I can get on the That's branch. enough, yep. That's alright, you can keep going for the coral. Lost the uh, critter there. Sounds like a calendar. It feels like a page out of a calendar. Yeah, right pulls there. in there while we're up. Hand, brand, logo. Um, up, gone. Yeah, great. Can go back to a five on the bubble cam. Okay, can we go wide now, please? So cool. We want to go in the forward box there? That's the rumor. Alright. And then Science oh, Pro, I see. Christopher Klotz and family. Yeah. Can we move the boat uh, west 20 meters? Steve, is this in the deep sea guy? Um, it oh, sorry is about under the sea pen. Uh, I'm not on the local one, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, it's on the the one on the website here. Oh, come on, Herb. Um, don't do it. On the website. Come down. Come down. It's listed come as down five meters. Cophobolemnon come down. species yeah. question. Auto heading is off. Roger. Now, I don't know if this one will try to run, run away like the last one. Delta's at 2-1. So it's a... could be interesting. Could be interesting getting the slurp gun out here against the rock. <laughs> Not kidding. If anyone can do it, it's you, Dan. I'll do it. This might not be pretty. We have... Still fighting. There you go. Still one there. If you're watching on this live channel, three is a view of the uh, suction sample or canisters. So that's where our team is looking. Just be sure something is deposited. Okay, can go in. Up in the sample jar. I'm gonna pop up a few meters. I think I see it in there. Is it stuck to the filter there, or is there something? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. We'll let it. I think that's what it is. for a minute until the sand clears out there. While you're here, can you pop a nisk in as well sure. afterwards? You want to, uh, you can kill the suction there for a second, see if it falls down. Suction killed. A any star, really. It doesn't have to be that one. But if you get more, that's okay, too. So delicate, Dan. So you'll see when that when the colony is disturbed, all the polyps will close want? down axis. Uh, we can go to the forward box on Lambda. Lambda. Roger Lambda. that. Yep. Two branches tied together nicely with a brittle star bow. 
Christmas came early. <laughs> uh, it's the right, the right current, right, the right, right direction. To keep okay. it nice and clean. There looked like a rock that would look like a square in there. <laughs> Just a straight square. That was weird. So, Brandon, can you tell us how these nodule fields are formed? Or what are they and how are they formed? So nodules are a, a rock precipitated out of the water, we call it hydrogenic, and it's sort of a accumulation of various metals, um, iron and manganese, that's why we call it iron manganese nodules, as well as nickel and cobalt and other things. Um, yeah, they, they precipitate out of the water column. I think that's good. We can stow it. Right. It. Nothing floaty in the tool tray, right? Nope. Yeah, where, where do you think it's better in the in the forward box or uh, uh, Dan? Do you have a preference? It's easier to get in the starboard box for sure. All right, let's let's put it in E. I think we have plenty of room in E. All right. 